This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that target welds multiple vertices without collapsing them to a single point. Maya doesn't offer a great solution for target welding multiple verts, and this can really speed things up, so let's check it out. So the main reason I created this tool is the Maya default target weld tool has a couple limitations that I don't like. So let's go up into mesh tools. I'm just going to tear this panel off here. And then you can find the target weld tool here. Click that and it enters the tool. And what you do is you select a vertice here. You click and you hold and you drag and it target welds it to the vert that you snap to. Now, what I don't like about this tool is it's really slow to use. Like, see how far you have to actually drag it? Like, you can drag all the way to here and nothing's happening. You have to go, like, almost right on the thing before the vert will actually snap over and do that. And I just find that really annoying. I find it really slow when I have to do a bunch of these things, like, one at a time. I also have another weird problem where a lot of the times I'll go to target weld a vert and it just won't weld for some reason. I don't know why. I haven't been able to figure out why that's happening. I couldn't repro it for this video, but it happens to me all the time. Super annoying. The other limitation of the tool is if you have multiple verts selected. So I'm just going to select these guys here. I'm going to go back into the tool. And if you wanted to target weld all of those, it's always going to go down to a single point. So if I target weld these, they all go to there. And sometimes I'll want to target weld like each one of these, and which means doing each one at one at a time, which is super slow and tedious. And then the worst part by far is that you, because you have to click and drag each point, you can't repeat last command because last command in the command queue is just entering the tool. So you can't just be like, weld the thing and then boom, just weld and weld and weld and weld and weld. So I wanted to fix all of those annoying features and make something that's easier to use and faster. So I created these two new buttons up here on the shelf and it's called weld to closest and weld to target. So let's look at the weld to closest tool first. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to take uh, any vertice that you have selected or any component you have selected or multiple verts and it's going to weld those to the closest vert it finds. So if we just grab this vert here and we just kind of nudge it closer to this guy down here. Now watch what happens. I'll click the button and boom, it goes down there. Now what's super powerful about this is you can repeat last command on this button. So check this out. So I'm just going to select the vert and then I'm going to middle mouse drag a little bit and I'm going to press G on the keyboard and boom. And I'm going to go again, boom, and again, boom, and again, boom, and again, boom. Hey, maybe I want to go up here. Boom. Want to go over here? Boom. Want to go down here? Boom, whatever. So this is like way faster. This is often what I'm going to do when I'm cleaning up like a low poly mesh or something or just modeling in general. I just kind of want to like kind of throw the vert and just say, just weld it. Just like go over there. You go over here, whatever. It's really satisfying to work like that as well. It actually feels like really good to just move that and just have it like weld in. It's actually like a pretty fun tool to use. What else is really nice about this tool is it works on multiple components or multiple verts. So I'm going to grab one, two, three, four, five, let's say, and it will weld each one to the closest thing that it finds. So if I just move those down like a little bit like that and run the tool, boom, it welds them all down to there and it would work on other components as well. So you could grab some edges and be like, sure, go there, press G to repeat. Boom, it all goes down to there. You could even do face, although I don't necessarily recommend this. What it's going to do with the different components is it's going to convert them to verts beforehand anyways. So with faces, it'll work. You just might get a weird result, right? Because you don't know where the closest vert is. So I don't know. Sure, I'll just move it over there. We'll run the tool. And it just found some like random stuff or whatever. So it kind of depends on what your selection is. For accurate results, I would just always do it in vert mode. Whoops. Select some verts like this. Want them to go up. Press G, boom, they go up. Want to do one at a time, go like that, go like this. Want to do a whole ring, you can just double click, shift, double click like that, move them down, and boom, there we go. So way faster than Maya's default target weld tool because you can repeat last command and just kind of like go around the mesh quickly. And you don't have to do that stupid drag thing where you're like, eh, go there, uh, go there, uh, go there. You can actually just be like, boom, go there, go there, go there. So super cool. Okay, so next up, we've got the weld to target. So this is like Maya's target weld tool, just a little bit better, because I also need to occasionally weld like a collection of components all to a single point. And I still don't like using Maya's target weld to do that, because I still think it's super buggy and slow. 
So this script works a little bit different than the first script. What you do with this one is you make your selection first. So let's say I want to weld these four vertices to somewhere. You select the four, then you click the weld to target, click it, and then see down here it says select the target vertex to weld to. So then the next vert that you select, it's all going to weld to that. So let's say I want it to go to this corner guy here, click it, boom, welded instantly. And again, what's super cool is you can press G on the keyboard to repeat last command. So you can save way more time instead of having to drag the thing out every time. So watch this. Select these six and press G. And then it says, select the target. And I want to go here. Boom. So you can do this. Grab these guys. Press G. Go here. Boom. Let's say these guys here. I want them to go here. G. Boom. And then as well as what's really cool is this will work on components of all types as well. So let's say you want to do a bunch of faces. This is where you can do like groups of faces and actually make it accurate. So with this tool, when you select a bunch of faces like this and then you click the weld to target button, it's going to show you what the vertices are that it's then going to move. And it's going to say, oh, you want to move these verts to where? Go there. Boom. And it's also going to leave you in the correct selection mode. So this can be really handy because you can go face, 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 weld to target. I want to go there and then go face, 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 press G, weld to target. I want to go there, face, 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 weld to target. I want to go there. So you can quickly do it because it leaves you in the component mode that you were last in. So you can go once you've launched the tool once, press G afterwards, and then just kind of keep going. Both the tools work on all of the component types. So we can do edges with the weld to target. So if you got all these edges selected and you click weld to target, then we can weld all those edges to there. And if you've got faces selected, we just looked at that weld to target, you can go there. And then if you've got vert selected, we can just go, let's take these verts and weld to target there. And of course, this will still work one vert to one vert too, if you prefer to use the weld to target workflow instead of the weld to closest. I prefer the weld to closest just because I find it way faster, but we'll just look at both of them right now. So the weld to target, you'd select it, press the button, and then choose the vert that you want to go to. And then you select it and you can press G and then choose. It leaves it selected. So that's actually helpful. You can just press G again and go like this. So this is kind of neat. You can snap stuff up this way really quickly by just welding it each time. So what I'm doing is press G to repeat and choose the new vert, press G to repeat, choose the new vert, press G to repeat, choose the new vert, press G, choose the new vert. With the weld to closest method, we would say select this guy, move him close to something, press the weld to closest, and it'll go to the closest. And then grab this guy again, press G, press G, middle mouse drag, 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 press G. So they're both actually way better than Maya's default target weld tool, but uh, just whatever workflow you prefer, they both kind of solve different problems. I always find this to be like really rewarding when you can grab a bunch of verts like this and just kind of move them close enough, maybe just scale them out a little bit and then just press G and boom, it's all welded up perfectly for you there. Super handy. I'm going to use this tool all the time. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thank you very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have an extraordinary day.